though the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home, tis summer, the children at play. The corn tops ripe, and the meadows are in bloom, and the birds make music all the day. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home, far away. Red, yellow, brown, black, or white, we're all precious in Jesus' sight. Get out and vote. Vote your hearts and vote your minds, but vote for godly principles. And thank you, Lord, for all of our freedoms that you've given us and that we've maintained through our articles, and through our Constitution, and through our Bill of Rights. God bless you all. Vote today and vote your hearts and vote for godly principles. John Stevenson, former Superintendent of Education, Commonwealth of Kentucky, I love you all. Right now, though, winning like Jesus on Leading the Way. I began in the last um, message a series designed for help young and old alike, calling it You Can Win Like Jesus. In the last message, I told you that some people feel guilty when they're tempted. You should not feel guilty when you're tempted. Temptation is normal. You should expect temptation. If you're a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be tempted. Not possibly, you will be. Don't be surprised by it. Prepare for it. I also told you that the threefold temptations of Jesus in the wilderness summarize and codifies all other temptation known to mankind. All temptations that you and I have succumbed to or defeated they all caught you all mind if I film you here going in to vote? Did not want Jesus to rely on his father's power and on his father's provision. Instead, he wanted to go for the shortcut, to take a shortcut. Voting? Please not bad at all here today. These three Praise the Lord. Can go under these three Hope people come out to His vote. To but a lot of them voted early. So, Lord, it's up to you. Write them down. 10 o'clock. These three Here at the senior center, of all I'll have to call to and Gil and Jan and tell them it's the no big lines, so that's I good. I can testify to you as the Lord my witness. Every defeat that I have ever experienced in my life. Listening to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio, Don. Let me act like the tempter. See if you recognize me. All right. I know people say Michael, you said. Devil's advocate. I'm not going to play the devil's advocate. I'm going to play the devil's role. Okay? You have needs, right? Right? You have urges. You have desires. You have ambitions. Nothing wrong with that, right? So far, so good. Having needs are natural. We all have them. But then the tempter continues. All of these needs must be satisfied. That daddy's hat. I got my the tempter works. old real hat. Jesus is fully God, yet. fully man. John Stevenson. Being fully man, he was experiencing the hunger pain that you and I will never experience. I know fasting for a day or two, and I'm telling you, it is not fun. But with the power of God, it's a great experience. Now, he's fasting for 40 years days not 40 hours 40 days so he's coming to the point in his humanity to be absolutely starving to death in fact scientists tell us
that no one can go past 40 days without food and still be alive. It's starvation to death. Watch how the devil he comes to Jesus, you know, with this kind of novel idea of using his supernatural power to eat. When he comes to him, not in the first day, not the 20th day, not the 30th day, but in, right at the end, just when about his, to break his fast, right closer, he shows up. And of course, Jesus had absolute choice. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. He had absolute choice. Should I continue my obedience to the Father, or should I meet my own needs with my own power? Should I wait for the Father's timing, or take matters into my own hand? Should I continue to glorify my Father in my body, or gratify my own desires? Should I continue to be about my Father's business, or should I go to business for myself? Should I continue to serve the Father's purpose in my life, or should I demand that the Father follows my purpose in my life? It's that simple. And it's that dangerous. Now, to understand the anatomy of temptation, which I, I talked about in the last message, we need to look closely at how Satan chooses his words. Look how he chose his words with Jesus. Verse 3. If underline that in your mind might be circled it's if you are the son of god <laughs> he begins by bringing doubt to his mind and he's gone to heaven in the garden of eden and i'm not far eden, away <laughs> and he brought doubt to the mind did god Praise really the say that did you really understand god correctly it's just bringing seeds of doubt a column road today there. we have people who claim to be followers center? of jesus writing books to bring doubt about and how God's word is we'll so film till we get down here to the flag and independence between a man to highlight and a, woman. a great city in Kent County. There are others today in our culture Kentucky. who gave up on doubt altogether and just came out in the open and he said, Jesus We've is just many wrong great about cities this. In Kentucky. Northern Kentucky. Because Satan begins as Congressman by John Brecker, who up. I worked for for many years, by set us up. Sets us named up. it the Golden Triangle. The Father had just announced from Greater Cincinnati, Jordan, Northern Kentucky. He just announced publicly, Lexington and Louisville, openly, the Golden Triangle hearing with a gateway. So you just go and do your thing, sin to your heart's content, man, just you know, let the grace of God cover it. You say by grace. He just told me that, right? He said, by grace, why tithe? Tithing belongs to the Old Testament. Why tithe? You have financial needs. Don't tithe. But you miss out on the blessing because he doesn't want you to be blessed. He said to Jesus, turn the stones into bread. Turn the stones into bread. And, and it's a simple thing, really. And he says, you have needs and you can meet your own needs. The very obvious part of the temptation is to fulfill a legitimate need by a miracle. And what could be more right than to meet legitimate need and desire? The beauty of the cut in the hill. Let me hear it go again, being the temple. The okay. beauty of Jesus. You need to be loved a certain way, don't you? But you are not loved that way now. Don't listen to the Why devil. Don't you try somebody else listen to God's the principles. The scriptures. Have an affair. Listen to Jesus. Get on the computer and stop watching some of those pornographic sites. You have needs, don't you? We'll read stuff is that. You have sexual desires. Why wait till you marry? Everybody else is experimenting. You have needs. Amen.
action, it's not open to change, it's not open to modification, and it's not open to being watered down. No wonder Psalm 119 verse 11, David said, I treasured. Can you say that with me? I treasured. He said, I treasured. <laughs> not debated, not trying to figure out what it means, not to doubt it, not to reinterpret it, to fit the culture. I treasured your word in my heart so that I might not sin against you. It's far better to trust God and to wait for his provision than to go for instant gratification when you think you need it. Those words, of course, were spoken in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3, which Jesus quotes here in the scripture. He believed all of the Old Testament. He believed all of it. And they were given originally through Moses to the people of God in the wilderness. Now here's a fact. As a young boy, Jesus memorized the Word of God. He studied the Word of God. He internalized the Word of God. At the age of 12, he was sitting in the temple teaching the elders. <laughs> and my beloved friends, listen to me. When you love and uphold the Word of God, regardless of your age, you will be a victor and you will win like Jesus. Amen. Moms and dads, will you be patient with me? You've had me many times, but I've had many mistakes as in my parenting. But when you teach the children to read the Word of God, to memorize the Word of God, to apply the Word of God, to internalize the Word of God, when you model that for them, you're going to keep them from looking for shortcuts when they got older and disobedience. I can tell you most assuredly, the way we train our children and model godliness for our children is incalculable when they grow older. I like the story about the four pastors who were debating which translation of the Bible is a better translation. Well, the first one said, I like the King James Version. It's really a poetic, it's old English. I just love that translation. I have know. And the second man said, no, I really like the American Standard Version. It's a more accurate translation. And the third one said, well, I really like the Living Bible because it makes hard concepts easy to understand. I like the Living Bible. And the fourth one was quiet for a minute, and then he said, sir, I really like my father's translation.
Listening to WIOK 107.5 FM, the radio dial, Tri State Gospel, Falmouth, Kentucky, Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky, zip code 41040. Gil and Jan Hammond, since 32 years. And we're down here at Simon Kenton Way at the new Kenton County Courthouse in Covington here on Simon Kenton Way with the Simon Kenton statue. And the UPS truck's going to move out of the way so I can get a good close-up and sing you a little song. Sing you a little song. With the flag in the background. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the children at play. The corn tops ripe and the meadows are in bloom, and the birds make music all the day. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home far away. Just remember, folks, vote today. It's election day. Many people have already voted early. But today is election day, and get out and vote. Vote for your choice, but please vote for godly principles. We need to return our country to godly principles, and our world to godly principles. Simon Kenton and this statue says it all. Pioneers, pioneers. Where I graduated from high school, Simon Kenton High School, in 1961, we were the pioneers. Now all of the schools, all the schools, private, Catholic, homeschooling, all of us teach our children godly principles, the Bible, so we can all live peacefully and peacefully in the world, so that we can help others around the world and be examples, shining lights of honor with our flags and with our actions and our love. The greatest gift God gave us is the gift of love. Red, yellow, brown, black, or white, we're all precious in Jesus' sight. God bless you all. God bless you all. Oh, the children roll. On the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by, hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says goodbye. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep. No more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, 
for my old Kentucky home far 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 away God bless you and God bless America all of us Thank you, Kenton County Judge Knuckleman, Chris Knuckleman, and all the county commissioners, and all the mayors, mayors of all the cities of Kenton County, Campbell County, Boone County, Gallatin County, Grant County, Owen County, all of them, 120 counties. God bless all of them. I'm Lincoln, Pioneer. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think of God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and lead me home, what joy shall fill my heart 
then I shall bow with humble adoration and then proclaim my God how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art as we sit here in front of the new Kenton County Courthouse building the flag waving high on election day and Simon Kenton the pioneer named after the famous pioneer in Kentucky Boone Kenton in Campbell counties and the Commonwealth of Kentucky and uh, I'm proud to be a graduate of Simon Kenton High School named after that same pioneer class of 1961 we'll be having our reunion the 64th reunion May the 17th of 2025 out at La Rosa's restaurant in the Pioneer Room at 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock mark your calendars class of 1961 and those of other interest in the pioneers of Simon Kenton great structure here great history here and I want to ask you all to remember the Bible election day the Bible it used to be posted the Ten Commandments on every classroom in the state of Kentucky we should return that and I say that not just as a teacher and a government teacher but as a Christian and as a citizen and as a government teacher a government teacher the Bible should be taught in our schools public private and home schools it should be taught and the country needs to live by godly principles we're in a fix right now regardless of who's elected it's not going to be an easy challenge we've got many issues we've got to face debt borders wide open crime perversion all types of ungodly actions taking life life itself is question life itself God created man and woman and life let us not forget who created us. God bless you all. And God bless America. And God bless Kentucky. And all of our elected officials from both parties. And come into their hearts, Lord. And let's have a great revival after this election's over. A revival of godly principles. Regardless of who wins. God, it's in your hands. And we trust and have faith in you. Travels with Dr. John Stevenson, June Guyman Stevenson, smartest move I ever made. Met her in 1985 on July the 28th. The Lord told her, there goes your husband out the door, and it took me four years to convince her the Lord was right. <laughs> then we married on March the 31st, 1989. Took off on that honeymoon all across Europe, eight countries, including two communist bloc countries before the Iron Curtain came down. You can see all the history of that and the history of all 120 counties as we travel to all 120 of them and film the history. You can see the history of that on all of our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Travels with Dr. John Stevens. And don't forget to listen to WIOK 107.5 FM radio station, Tri State Gospel. Gil and Jan Hammond have been there for 32 years. Teachers. Assistant Superintendent of Education, teacher at Beachwood High School for 10 years, chemistry. I tell you, Lord, wonderful couple, wonderful station. Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky. Send them a contribution. Join them as a partner and help spread the word for Jesus. God bless you all.
And God bless my wife, Miss June Guyman Stevenson. Protect her and heal her body from the Crohn's disease and all the other afflictions. And thank you for the scriptures she sends me every day to post, and I'll post one today. So God bless you, and take care, and may God bless all of you. Amen. Fair Haven Rescue Mission here, where Randy Wallace and I, and used to be my brother Gerald, and and uh, my sister Mayor Ruth, and my sister Judy Lynn Felty Stevenson, Mayor Ruth Robinson, and Mark Robinson have come up and sang some too, and uh, and um, my sister Barbara Jean, teacher out in Erlanger Lineman School in San Henry's for many many years gone on to heaven, Gerald's gone on to heaven, Dorothy's gone on to heaven, Jay, our World War II veteran, gone on to heaven, he used to come and sing with us, Ed Hiles and Flavie Elmore, I tell you what, we had the Whosoever Will group, and uh, I just, we come down here and sing every fourth Friday, for 30 years now, Randy and I are still coming, every fourth Friday, 7 o'clock, you got a guitar and you play well, come on, give me a call. 859-750-0000. Bring a message for the Lord. Bring a message for the Lord here at Fairhaven on Pike Street in Covington, Kentucky. Fairhaven Rescue Mission now having children and, and ladies too. So we're helping them all, men too. God bless you. Randy Wallace, minister of Oak Ridge Baptist Church. A wonderful man, wonderful person. God bless you all. One of my famous pictures right there. Praise the Lord. Mother God Church, beautiful. Inside and out. I'm so thrilled that I filmed Wayne's Harkey's wife's funeral there. It was such an honor to do so. I love the church, the beauty of it, the message of it. Workers working. Beautiful. Beautiful. Praise the Lord. From every angle, beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Mother of God Catholic Church here in Covington, Kentucky. A symbol of love. Jesus. Workers working on it right there to keep it beautiful.
Darrell Cox, attorney at law, Chase Cox, Gregory Chabelle, Lysington, Kentucky, and Ohio. Attorneys at law. 859 491 9088. Closed today for voting. Salvation Army. Now here we have something that every man can recognize. The beauty of God and how he makes the ladies. And which is true. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I, 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 I need. You are so beautiful to God. And you are beautiful to God. Now tell me who your names are. What's your name, ma'am? Oh, I'm Anne. Anne? Mary. Mary? 